Take our first piece of chicken here. Get some of those potatoes that we made. So we're gonna start with just some potatoes. Now I like baby reds and I don't, I don't take the skin off. I've actually got kind of a fascinating story on that, but I don't, I don't take skin off. I like it just all natural, just like that. Of course they're cleaned. All right, we just finished this last one up. Perfect. Throw some salt in there. And let's get them over the heat. For the chicken, the first thing we want to do is start on our marinade. So I just have a quarter cup here and I've got some red wine vinegar. I really can't drink this. I love vinegar. Quarter cup EVOO, as my girlfriend would say. Sorry, Mrs. Dude. Yep, she's real in my life. Quarter cup of soy. Now I got the low sodium soy, but still quarter cups, quarter cup. Put it down in there. I'm just gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna put it all together. Now for our herbs and spices, we start with one and a half teaspoons of parsley flakes. I have one teaspoon right here. Half teaspoon of basil. Half a teaspoon oregano. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm going to do a teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Just give it a good whisk. Hmm. Now I have four chicken thighs. I pour it over like so, give them a good stirring. Put the lid back on and away it goes into the refrigerator for four hours. But guess what? I already prepped some beforehand and it's ready to go. So let's do it. Now for chicken, we want to have an internal temperature of at least 165. I like to hit 175, just to be on the safe side. When it comes to chicken, I mean, seriously, you don't want cross contamination or anything like that. You really got to watch these things. Potatoes are done and it's time to put them in and start mixing them up. But whew, that's warm. Throw the potatoes down in there. Now I'm going to throw some garlic in here because I love garlic, but not a lot. Can you know garlic will overpower it? I'm going to throw some cheese in here as well. Make them a little cheesy, nothing crazy. But the secret to this is the whipped cream. Well, we're going to throw some of that in here as well. We're just going to start with yeah, about that much. Look at that. I don't need no stinking lid. I'm going to put a little bit more whipped cream in here. It's because I want these things to be a little bit creamier. Do you know what I have to say? As potatoes go, these are pretty damn creamy. I'm going to throw some onions on the top for garnish. Looks good. Let's check our chicken out. I just checked the temperature on the chicken and two of them are at that 175 mark. The other ones are hanging at about 165. Technically, yes, I could pull them off, but not going to. I'm gonna pull the 175s off though. These two pieces of chicken look amazing. So I'm gonna plate these up. Take our first piece of chicken here. Get some of those potatoes that we made. It's time to try this. We'll start with a piece of chicken. That marinade just makes this really compliments the chicken. Let's try our potatoes. You know, you got a great potato flavor. That red potato, right? 
and you get a little bit of garlic. I haven't seen any cheese in here. I think it just all melted away into there, but let's try this. I want to try a piece of chicken with my potato. Come on. Mm. Most excellent. This is so simple to make. You just got to have a little bit of patience, like, you know, about four hours to let your chicken marinate, but it's so worth it. You could try it with a chicken breast if you want. Try it without. Try it, you know, like I did, and that is with a chicken thigh. Just cut the fat off. Like the fat, go for it. But the fat, I don't think, has anything really to do with the flavor when it comes to the chicken. There you have it. Super simple. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We will talk to you next time. Love you. Peace. Take care. Now, I had a friend named Eric years ago, and his dad was a prisoner of war in Indonesia during World War II. And Eric told me this story once where he was uh, making potatoes, and he was taking the skin off. And his dad got really upset because, well, potato, you can eat the skin. And that's one of the things that they subsisted on during the war was potatoes and you did not waste a single thing. So there's my story about potato skins.